A scary car crash in Brooklyn left two people dead and five people hurt after a car appeared to run a red light and crashed into another yeah, vehicle. This video is just devastating. The driver is now under arrest and facing multiple charges. Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti live in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, with the very latest for us this morning. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Dan and Tashani, good morning to both of you. People who saw this horrific accident unfold say that driver had to be going at least 80 miles an hour. And all of us know the speed limit here in the city is just 25 miles per hour. So this was just catastrophic. You can even see some of the damage left behind. Uh, crews are here right now on scene repairing a light pole that the driver took down while he was making his way towards the sh uh, down the street. He went right through a red light again, careening onto the sidewalk that driver was taken into custody here at the scene it just so turns out he didn't even have a license i never see a nice like this in my life well it's a shame it's a tragedy it's really it's, you know it's heartbreaking two people lost their lives and five others are recovering this morning after a car jumped a curb in bensonhurst careened onto the sidewalk and crashed into pedestrians Shocking surveillance video shows the accident as it unfolded just before 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon at 18th Avenue and 62nd Street. All happening in a matter of seconds. Watch closely. A white Toyota Camry can be seen speeding through a red light before it slams into a black Honda SUV, narrowly missing two people walking down the street. I heard the impound first. I turned around and I, I, I see it was like an explosion. The Camry also hit a second vehicle and finally came to rest after slamming into a light pole, but not before striking multiple pedestrians. The damage was already done. Two victims were pronounced dead at the scene, the 51-year-old driver of the mangled black SUV and a 60-year-old woman. Five were hospitalized in total. One of them is in critical condition, and four more have non-life-threatening injuries. And I saw these two people sitting out there bleeding from their forehead and everything. So I was like, oh, my God. And then I happened to look further down, and I see the cars demolished. The driver of the Toyota Camry remained on scene and was arrested by police. 49-year-old Vitaly Konoplyov is being charged with manslaughter and aggravated unlicensed operation of a vehicle. The Coney Island Island man can be seen in surveillance video from a different angle flying through another red light moments before the deadly crash, nearly colliding with a plumbing truck just blocks away. Witnesses say he was driving dangerously above the speed limit. Family members are waiting for people to come home and obviously don't know make it home because of people that drive like, you know, reckless. But what I see today, it was very sad. As after you see all these people, you know, dying in front of your eyes is terrible. Yeah, just a devastating story here in Brooklyn. A third vehicle involved in the crash, a 2021 Chevy Equinox, sustained minor damage. People in that car were also injured. Uh, they were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. A tire dislodged, though, from that Toyota Camry hit a parked fourth car. Obviously, nobody was in that car or harmed. For now, we're live in Bensonhurst. Stand it to Shani, back to you. Okay, Briella, thank you very much.